So let's delete these guys as well. Or for now, maybe we can comment them out like this. Okay. So now, if you remember very well, we have a way to retrieve one user from our class so that we can check if this user actually exists right so let's go to our classes here and look at the user class so there's get data and then there's get user right there so we're going to use this very uh, class here so let's come here before we even do any of this so i'm just going to this is the format we're going to be using right here so i will do something like i will say user class but wait a minute okay that's the login class i almost thought we had it already so user class is equal to new user that isn't an equal sign by the way <clears throat> excuse me so let's put that equal sign all right so user so let's uh, say something like if user class get user because that's the get underscore user <clears throat> and what is get user asking for it's the id right which we have here let's come back here and confirm for a second whoops I can tell which of these browsers I have two browsers with exactly the same thing okay so this is the one so obviously on number two there we have our user ID so that's good so we put that in there get user okay so if the returned uh, value is something if we can say something if is array or let's say if is actually get user since it gets uh, it returns one thing it will probably return an object we can confirm that by uh, yeah exactly it will return one object so we're going to say if is object this result right here then we will do this so if it is object then it means the user actually exists so then we will put everything in there now uh yeah so if the user does not exist we do not redirect the user there and so what we can do instead we can put an else statement here and then of course we will give this to our error message and say something like error is equal to error be equal to let's move here and let's say uh the requested user could not be found something like this okay so let's give that a test this uh, requested user not found situation right here and let's see where are we using new user so user class here wait a minute are we even using it at all oh yes we are using it here i'm getting confused here all right so this is well and good let's give it a try so we'll go back here and let's uh let me intentionally put something at the end there so that uh we this user does not exist at all and i will hit enter okay so as you can see uh start new conversation with this user that does not exist and then if i try to actually send a message to this one i hit send the requested user could not be found okay so we are golden here <clears throat> excuse me so now that we got that out of the way we can now redirect the user to check what messages were actually sent so let's send a message again this time we'll just say how how are you for example so I will send that oh why is the selected user not found 
Okay, so try again. Okay, so it seems we have a problem here. <clears throat> uh, all right, so what I will do is let's just echo what we get from this result. Not the is object, let's just this part here up to there. So what I will do is I will say show, just show us what's inside there, like that. And then we're going to die, of course. So let's try again and hit send. Okay, so we have found this, but it turns out this is an array. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it returns an array, I, I guess, not an object. So we delete that line and say is array. <coughs> I seem to be uh, developing a slight mild flu. Let's hope it doesn't get any worse. Okay, there we go. So let's try again, this time, hoping... Oh, there we go. So that actually went through. So let's go back to our uh, messages and delete that because this is not a valid message. So let's put something more concrete. And let me go back and say, how are you? How are you? Question mark. Send. Okay. So now we have this that's coming up. So this is supposed to be where we're actually viewing not our messages, but uh, yeah. So the issue here is that we have two items in our URL. We have the page, which is messages, and then we have the user ID. So with these two, we can retrieve a, actually we can retrieve a particular thread here. So that is good actually. So this is zero and this is one in terms of URL. So let's find out, let me come back to messages.php here for a second. So let's come down to where we are reading here. So it says if one is a set, this is one, and then it's equal to new, then we have, we come here, but else, we show all messages here, but we're also supposed to be able to show just one thread of messages. So this is what we need to do to make an if statement for that as well. So I'm simply going to duplicate this because it's kind of similar. And I will put my closing bracket over here. And then I will put an else statement there like this. So now instead of this being a new, so I'm going to say if this is set URL one, and then that same URL is equal to, now this is where you can uh, be very specific. So we might put something like read, something like that. I think this will be more, uh, what's the word? More complete, because if we just ask it whether it's a numeric value or not, it could uh, represent many things, but if we put read there, I think that makes it more useful. So instead, what we will do is, let's go back to the top here and change uh, our redirect. So instead of messages, just here, we're just going to put read and then slash like so. So that's where you do redirect our users to read a message that makes more sense and then in our URL over there I'm just going to say read slash and then enter okay there we go so reading is what we are doing so let's come back down here and read our messages so once we are here all we need to do now is read from the database and then uh, that's it. So let's go to our classes messages. So messages classes here. All right. So we have one public function for sending. So now let's get a function for reading. So we have this uh, create user create message ID, but we can have a public one this time a public function. Uh, read something like this so read and then what do we need in order to be able to read so what we need is a um 
I think a user ID will do because that's what we are given in the URL there. So let's put our user ID there and see how we can make it work with that. So let's come back here. Now let's go back here and see how we can go about retrieving uh, a particular. Mm, okay, so save, read. I think that's that's what we'll be looking for here. So new DB. Uh -huh. So message ID is equal to that. Okay. So I think we will need this section right there. So I will copy this and come back down here. And I just need especially this let's move message id down here we do not need no oh, let me actually leave these guys i will remove fund uh file there sorry and then let me move the rest over here okay so here we create our new db class and now we want to read but we don't know what the message id is all we are given is the user id of the person that we want to find right so <clears throat> here what we will do is we have user id but we also need to know who we are so me is equal to let's create one like that and let's get our session <clears throat> excuse me let's actually use the escape as well there we go escape just in case somebody tempered with it so there's me and the, the user ID that I want to read. So let's come back to our, our messages. Yes. Mm -hmm. So here there's a sender and there's a recipient. Now, when you're talking to somebody in messages, sometimes you're the receiver and sometimes you're the sender. Okay. So you could be either of the two because when you're replying to a message, at that point, you're a sender. And when the other person sends the message, you are the recipient. So it's safe to say that if either the sender is you or the receiver is you, and the other person is one of those two, then it's safe to say that those messages belong to the both of you. So what we will do in that case is Oh, so you see we have a problem right there. Anyway, we will fix this uh, in a moment. So the problem here is that there's a different message ID here and there's a different one over there. This shouldn't happen. Okay. So if on any of these you are... Actually, so let's delete the very latest here. Which one was it? So this is ID number two, number three. So let's delete this one. Wait, 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 wait. What's the message? Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, wait a minute. Let's delete this gibberish. Delete, delete. Okay, there we go. Let's browse again so that we have one. So if you are either of these, let's get the message ID from there. And that's what we are going to use uh, to retrieve messages. Okay, so let's go back here and let's try that. <clears throat> 